Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. We're back. We're back live. How's everybody doing today? How did you do on the drop? How did you do on the drop today? The mariachi band. I didn't get the drop. There was like, you know, that error that happened, some sort of glitch on Vivi's part. And, um, you know, I went to do the drop and the you know it, it was sold out immediately with no buy now and so i was like what okay i guess my timer must have been off because you know when you have you ever done a drop where if you've used two devices like or two people side by side sometimes when you do the with the person beside you their their timer is a little faster than yours or your seconds are not quite exactly lined up so you could be two seconds behind so sometimes i like to go in and out when i'm setting up my drop just to be sure and um you know, so I thought maybe that was the case. Maybe I like logged in and then I, you know, was behind in the timer. But no, there was some sort of glitch. And then Vivi, I guess, tweeted about it saying, oh, there's a bit of a glitch. Sorry, everybody. And then, uh, you know, we're looking into it. I guess like nothing was, no one was able to buy. And then a few minutes later, I guess it went live. Like you're able to do the, the drop, but I didn't know. And then it sold out super fast. Like it sold out instantaneously. So, you know. That's, I mean, that that's a good sign that it sold out because, you know, there's only six gems a piece, right? So, you know, and I, so I didn't get one on the drop, you know, but I'll get one today because I want to play around with these. I want to see how they go. I want to, I want to, I want to goof off with this, you know, and I go to Mexico every single year. Well, not every year, but we, we like to go down there because, you know, West coast Canadians, we like to fly down to Mexico and hang out for, you know, a week or two in the sun. And so I'll be going down there and it'd be really cool for me to bring these with me, at least one or two of them, because there actually is uh, mariachi bands that play at the hotel that I usually go to. They're really great. We've got to know them. If you go back to the same place all the time, you get to know them. They come out and they're awesome. And it's like one of these big nights that they have at the hotel where where they have like a whole, you know, like it's a whole Mexican theme night, even though you're in Mexico, sometimes being in a hotel is like you're not in Mexico, you're in a hotel, but they do a whole night and they have food and they have music and presentations and performances. And they have like a carnival thing with games and stuff. So my kids have always loved it. And so it'd be really fun to bring one of these in. So what I'm going to do today to get one is I could go in the market and buy one right now. But what we have on my, uh, you know, on my channel is I have like, you know, the, the VV gem giveaways, right? For my drop head. So what we do, how I'm going to get them today from a couple of my members, which is going to be fun. Let me just quickly share this. Hold on one second right here. Let me share what we normally do. So uh, I'm going to do this today to grab a couple and do it the way for my, uh, my, from my, my holders of my gem program. So, you know, my drop heads have utility, right? My, my collection one. And, um, you know, this is one called Pending Gems, and this is VV Gems. So this is when, you know, if you own a logo like this, you get like, um, you get an opportunity to to win VV Gems. And the way it works is if you own one of these, you get entered into the draw. And then every week, you know, if your number comes up, you list something in the market for higher than the floor, and then I'll buy it from you. And then you get some extra gems. Nothing too crazy high because no one wants to get banned here. But, you know, we have uh, 361 entries of this one. So there's three winners today. And this is going to boost us over like over 300 and something gems that will be rewarded to my members. And so today I'm, I want my the people who win to list the stamps, right? I want to list a couple of these common stamps for me and I'll buy them from them. I think they're going for about three or four gems right now in the market. Let's just check it out. So they're going for about three and a half gems or so. So if they listed for about 14, that's a nice 10 gem little profit that they'll get. And I'll, I'll tell the winners who they are, but that's how I'll grab my stamps today. I'll get three of them. So I will coordinate with my members there, whoever wins. And, uh, you know, they can, they can, one of them maybe can do this one. And then, um, oh, there's the logo. Oh my God. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. <laughs> Let me just go back. I was supposed to be sharing the VV marketplace there for a second. So, so there's the logo. I was looking at it earlier. Holy, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Oh my God, what's going on with that? So what I, what they'll do is they'll list one of these for me at about 14 gems or so and I'll buy it. 
and then um and then i'll do like probably the second one i'll ask one of one of the other members to do like the second one for me and then i'll snag that too so that'd be great and then um i guess there's the other ones there's the uncommon maybe the uncommon yeah it's about the same it's about 14 15 gems so i'll pick up probably those three and then i'll see about maybe completing the set later maybe maybe i will maybe with the ultra rare maybe i'll pick that up it's 18 so it's like you know it's totally attainable and then um the secret rare what is it like about 100 or so Oh, it's down to like 63. Okay, so that's really attainable. So we'll see about that. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'll get the whole set, but I'll get a couple today for sure. Now, the other thing I'm doing is that I'm actually going after the Miles Morales Ultra Rare today. That's what I'm going after. So, you know, I, I bought the rare initially. If you guys looked at my last uh, live stream, you'll know that I bought the rare. Uh, and, um, you know, and I love it, right? But it's going down in value. And what I decided is that I want to get to the ultra. I didn't think I could get to the ultra rare level on miles morales if we just go back to the store right here where where is miles he should be here there he is so i didn't think i could really get to the ultra rare level with the current gems that i had but he's come down in price which is really great because this is this is you know he's at 320 he's been hovering steady at 320 all morning here i'm waiting to see if he'll go down under 300 but i'm not sure if he will go under 300 or not because i've been watching him for a bit and he's kind of stopped here you know at the ultra rare so i'm gonna wait a little bit and if he goes down a bit more, you know, we'll see what happens. But I'll, I'll pick one up because I actually had the rare right here, which I really love the rare. But the rare is also just just gone under 200. But the thing about this one, it's kind of it's it's like hit like 190 or so, 195. It was like 189. There was one listed, I think, maybe earlier this morning. But it's kind of like at this moment stopped here. So I'm not sure if this will go further down. And I really want to get that ultra rare though. And I want to, I want to move my way up to the ultra rare from the rare. You know, I thought I could only get the rare. When I first bought this, I thought this is the only one I'm going to be able to get because the ultra rare is going to be higher. And, uh, but it's actually, they both come down, which is good. So, you know, some of these lessons we learn is just a little bit about patience, right? You could get some good patience, you know, in the market. So I bought like immediately this guy here, <laughs> you know, right, right off the bat. And, uh, you know, it probably would have been better for me to wait a bit, but you just never know what's going to happen with these. You know, people can predict and people can say, and I predict too, right? And, but you can never fully say like what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, only, only now that you see these prices, do you see people who said it was going to go lower starting to speak up, you know, but on day one, it was, it was, it was fire, right? It was fire. So I got this one, but you know, I'm going to go for the, for the rare, for the ultra rare. So that, that's my plan in case anyone's wondering, uh, right here. There he is right there. I'm going to check him out, but if he goes, you know, I'm going to have to watch this for a snidge, right? Just for a little bit, because I'm looking at this one and I'm like, also, you know, when I have these kind of gems in my, in my profile, so here's, here's my profile. I got, um, 379 gems, right? So when I see, when I have these kind of gems in here, you know, because I've been making a couple moves to get to get to that ultra rare miles. But then I'm also immediately always pulled back to Amazing Fantasy because, you know, when I get those kind of gems, that means I'm close to getting another Amazing Fantasy, right? I, I mean, you know, you know, right here, right? You got 415. Now he was at four 400 right here, just a little bit, right? You know, I mean, crazy, right? Like, you know, he's at 400. Uh, just a bit early. So he's gone up to 415 again. And so then, you know, so I'm just below being able to get one of those. I could snag this one. This, this, uh, by golden here, this two number 268 gem one has been here all morning. And I've been very tempted just to snag that one because you can see how the price just vaults back up after a couple get bought. And, uh, you know, you know, my amazing fantasy stack, I have 10 of these and I'm, you know, I want to get more, but I do, I do want to get that ultra rare miles Morales and lock it in the vault. And I didn't think I'd be able to get it actually. So, you know, here's the, here's the rare. And this one's gone back up a bit too this morning, right? Which is great because I own the rare here. It was down 410 or something like that. And it's gone back up a bit. So you can see once these hit a certain level, they always seem to bounce back. I mean, like, you know, like I said, 399, I think was what this got to or 389 or I know I don't think it's three, three. I think one person listed maybe at 399. And then immediately, then it was at 400 and then immediately it's back up to 415. So you know that there's a wall here when it, as soon as it hits under 400, it usually gets bought. And uh, I don't, I don't anticipate it, you know, going below 400 anytime, you know, in the soon. And because it does, people just buy it up. So when I, when I get close, when I get close to the, to uh, these, 
it always tempts me. It always, you know, pulls me, right? Like, you know, and so I'm having a bit of a struggle because if I go to the market right here, like I, to get to the ultra rare, I had to sell a couple small things. I had to, I had to lop off, you know, one or two of my like common and uncommon Boba Fett's for like 20, just to lop a few off just so I could boost myself up because, you know, that ultra rare of, um, of Miles Morales to me is like, and the rare, they're both really great. But this one right here is is the target I have. I can't get to the secret rare right now. I can't. And even if I could, I'd probably, I mean, I might go for that VV logo instead, right? But I, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I'm praying and hoping maybe I can somehow get one in a, in a, D, a decom. But, you know, we'll see what happens if, if luck is on my side, maybe, uh, maybe, Maybe the skies will open up and maybe I'll be lucky enough to, to get one or even just meet everybody. That would be great. You know, because for me, that's a, that's a permanent hold right there. And if I go to the market, if I go to the, the to the brands and I don't think anyone's listed it, let's see, hold on. Let's just go to collectibles right here. Uh, let's see where the, where the VV logo is <laughs> because it is just absolutely turning into a monster in this app right here. Where is it? Come on now, scroll. When I opened it up, it was right there on the screen. When you guys saw me start my live stream, it was like right there. But you know, of course it's not down here anymore. Like it just disappears on me. I can't look at it. So I'll just have to go to the brands and go down to V. We're still in beta, everybody. The search, the search is not perfect, but that's okay. I still love it, but we're, st we're still in beta. You know, things are still coming together. The app is, you know, get, okay, here's the logo section here. Oh, come on. Get, 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 what, what, what just happened? Come on. Show me the logo. What, what is going on? This is bad YouTubery. There we go. Okay, good. We got it. We got, I mean, look at that. You guys, boom, 44, 50. And I don't, I don't care what the price is. Like I, you know, it's not like, it's not like I would be selling this. I mean, this is why the price is high because most people are realizing like you, you should not be selling this. Do whatever you want. It's all good. You know, if you got, maybe you got three, maybe you're lucky and you got a couple now. Maybe you bought one at 2000 and you're flipping it for four and you already have one. I don't know, whatever. It's all good. Whatever people can do, whatever they want. No judgment here, but I, you know, <laughs> I'm not selling this one. You see like what people are talking about with this one. There's a group that's starting up now with, uh, you know, uh, Mr. MC1. I think there's like a there's like a, a a Telegram group or a Discord group, one of the two, where you got to be like, you got to hold one of these. You got to have the card too, apparently. No, no, no. Actually, no, that's not true. He, I did think he said that you can just buy one in the market as long as you hold one. That's good. Um, and then of course, yeah, Randy just did a big video about it too, and I mean, just blowing everyone's mind. So go watch Randy uh, Chavez's channel there. You you know you know Randy, of course. Every, you know you know Randy, right? I mean, if you don't, you better ask somebody uh, and like go watch his, uh, his, you know, his, his video. I mean, uh, this logo is just, you know, and, and you know what the thing about this logo is, it's like, this is not FOMO, right? This is not like, oh, an item's going up and, you know, it's, you know, this is like people like wanting to be in the club, you know, like some sort of like lock you down club where you have like, you know, you, you, you got access to whatever coming up and you're, you got the golden ticket sort of mentality. And that's sort of what they're kind of setting up here on VV. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's great. So, you know, I, you know, but if you if you got the gems, I mean, this guy's more expensive than the partner statue now, right? Remember it passed partners like a few days ago, it went up just for a little bit, just for like a brief moment, you know, it, 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 it went over the price of partners and it's 4450 now right there and if i actually go here let's just close that right there and you know if i go and pff, partners i mean <laughs> legendary right let's just go down to the golden moments and partners is one i've never owned and uh, i wish i owned and i want to own i mean but it's at 3700 you know still sitting in that same range just under 4000 and the logo is now has now passed the partners you know, and it may never come back. I mean, there's obviously way less editions of the logo. There's only like 500 of them. And I think there's only like, like, I don't even know how many have been minted so far or given out. I have no clue, but you know, there's only 500, I think in total forever. So, you know, it's already super scarce. So it's probably going to always be higher than like something like this, but who would have thought, right? Like a couple days ago, it went down 
went went over it and then it came right back. And uh, maybe at 2000, you know, I should have picked up a logo. But, you know, I want the logo. I want to get that card. If I can get that card, man, it's going. If I get that card, it's going on. It's going right there on the wall. I tell you right now, I should I should square out a spot for it and just hope and pray. Because I'm going to decon. And, um, you know, I'm not going to be all like begging or something, but I'm going to definitely like, you know, show up and <laughs> be all like, hey, guys, how's it going? Do I have I earned one? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do with the um, going back to the mariachi stuff. This stuff is really fun. And the music, there's music on each of them. So I'll, I'll get one of the I'll get three of them from my members and I'll see if I like them or not. And I'll play the music. I, I might sell them again, you know, um, right after I get them or I might hold one. But I'd like to bring one down to Mexico with me because that's cool. I could have it on the phone and I can show people there. Maybe get some people signed up to VV down in Mexico. You know, I'll be like, hey, check it out. The, and maybe show the mariachi man themselves. You know, I've been getting to know some of those guys. I mean, I don't know them by name, but, you know, I recognize them. I'm sure they recognize me. And I'd be like, hey, guys, look, it's you, right? They'll be like, oh, that's so cool, right? So anyway, <laughs> so that's kind of fun. So like I said, that's my kind of goal today is uh, not the golden moments here, but my goal today is is the Miles Morales Ultra Rare, if I can get to it. And I can get to it um, right now, but I, I'm waiting. I'm trying to be like smart about it if I go over here. I'm trying to be smart about it. It's at 320, but he's hit a wall here. I don't know if he's going to go lower than 320. I'd like, you know, I'd like to pick him up for as cheap as I can because then I can take some of those gems and start rebuilding my comic books. You know, after I went all crazy in Amazing Fantasy, you know, I was like just all, but but you know, that's the crazy part. Every time I get to this point with gems, you guys, I am pulled like a huge magnet. You know, I want like. I want this and this is important and I'm going to get this because I got it's it, there's only a, there's only 900 of them or whatever. So, you know, this just makes no sense, right? To not get this. So, um, you know, for anybody and for me, for anybody, I think just personally do whatever you want, but I think it makes no sense not to get this at all. Just have it. I mean, you know, like, <laughs> like what, what else, what else is that? Is it is, is better than that at that price? I mean, I, I don't know, you know, and then the rare as well. So like I said, I sold the rare so I could get to the ultra rare. I'm just, just waiting to see where I can get to. And where is the rare? There's the, se there's the secret rare. I mean, you know, this is tough. What would you rather have? Would you rather have the secret rare or the VV logo? Right? Because there's, there's like less than half of Miles Morales' uh, secret rares compared to even the VV logo. And the VV logo is worth more than this one right here. But there's only 160 of these available to the public, right? I mean, there's 200 of them, 250 of them or whatever, right? But I mean, super scarce. I mean, look at this. There's only 250 of these. Are you kidding me? It's just like scarcer than scarce. It's Miles Morales. I mean, like, who wouldn't want that? I mean, this is the secret rare. I don't have the secret rare. I mean, God, like, it's tough, right? It's tough. I mean, the logo, and, I, you know, these are two different things. They're not really fair to compare them. The only reason I'm even talking about them together is because the price level is somewhat close, you know, and partners too. I mean, they're completely different. You know, it's not one or the other. It's just if you only had the gems to, to go after any one of those three. I mean, it's kind of like we're, we're having fun just putting them there. But it's not like one or the other, right? I mean, you want to get all, all of them if you can. But, you know, a lot of people could only maybe even get one if they're lucky. So, you know, which one would you choose? You know, would you choose this guy here? You know, legacy character. I mean, like, you know, all, you know, future, future importance, big time, first appearance, 250 only in the world, only 190 or whatever, 160 that we can get. I mean, like just mental, right? Or would you go for that logo? I mean, they're not the same price anymore. The logo is actually much higher now. It's about a thousand higher. Would you go for the logo and then become a part of that exclusive, like, you know, VV club that's being formed or developed or whatever is going to happen? And, you know, with these utility and prizes and giveaways or, or access or whatever, whatever's going to happen with that, how they continue. Like, would you, I mean, that's, that's nuts too. You could get major lot, lots of benefit for that. One of the reasons that I still own my bat cowl is because, you know, I only owned one 
I bought one bat cow when it was mint. Like I minted one. Like I, I'm an original owner of one bat cow. And, you know, I wanted to because I could see like, okay, this is an interesting project. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I only own one. And if you watch my last bat cow video, I just did a bat cow video. I don't do very many bat cow videos, not because I just, you know, I, I just, I just only did one just as an update. I haven't done one in a couple of months, but I've been in the project and I, and I've been getting free stuff just by owning one. You know, I only bought one. I have like six or seven NFTs now. So I, I like that. I mean, I like that. And maybe the VV logo is that kind of thing too. Maybe, I mean, maybe you'll get, I mean, you're going to get some physical stuff if you go to these conventions. I mean, that's for sure. You're going to get some stuff there and that's going to be amazing, right? So, I mean, who knows what you'll get? Like if you go to, if you go to Anaheim and you go to Decon and you have the logo and you go up to like, you know, the booth, you know, so in case you missed it, you know, Metaverse Life and VV Magic did a live, uh, a, a Twitter space yesterday and they had David in there and they had Dan in there and they had Reese in there for like half a second. He was like in Hawaii or something. And, uh, and then Alex joined as well. He was in there even after, you know, coming off his honeymoon and all that stuff. And David and them, David's going to be at Decon and he's going to be at like the booth and he's just going to be handing out merch all day or something. He said, because of this logo, you know, and you're going to, you, you're going to have to get there early, you know, and you, there's certain items that, you know, they don't have four or 500 of them that they can bring. So it's like a first come first serve on some of the stuff. I don't know what that stuff is. I mean, it could be a comic book. It could be artist stuff. It could be like, I mean, who knows, right? I mean, it could be like f some stuff that's coming to the app in the future. It's probably artist related because, you know, it's decon, right? So maybe there'll be some exclusive stuff that's actually dropping that week that maybe you'll get a physical of it. I don't know. But I mean, he's going to apparently, he said he's going to be like, you know, just at his booth, like all day handling these giveaways and stuff for the VV logo crowd. So that's... uh <laughs> That's pretty amazing, right? That's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> really quickly here, Meta Money, you still need your draw pad. You can't message me on Twitter. Okay, so we have to be following each other, Meta Money. So what we can do there is, or if you're on Instagram, message me there as well, okay? Are you on Instagram? Uh, if you're not, if you're on, um, let's just go to Twitter right now. I'll take care of it right now. What is your Twitter Twitter feed? Is it Meta is it the same uh, same as your name here, Meta Money? Where are you here? Where are you on Twitter? I'll follow you back because if we're probably not following each other, you can't message me unless we're following each other. So um, let me know which one is you, and then I will just do it right now. I wait. I'm waiting right now for you. You just commented, so you should be able to give me your Twitter handle right now, and then you can DM me. I'll wait for you. Type it in the chat. Then maybe you'll get some followers too. Okay, thank you. So you're you're Lord Dean UK. Okay, thanks. There we go. So Lord Dean. Oops, oh, sorry, Dean UK. Where are you? There you are. Okay, it says Meta Money. Okay, good. So we follow each. Uh, you follow me. So sorry if I'm not following you back. You know, I have lots of. I have to actually. If I get to my, I'm following you now. You can you can actually DM me. But if I get to my followers here, you see, I have to go through. Oh, Trevor's following me. Good. Let's follow Trevor back. Awesome. We finally got together. So I'll follow everybody here. And I, I like to go through once uh, every couple of days and go through. So, you know, there you go. Now you can DM me. And what will happen is I'll get you your drop head, um, you know, later, like just after the live stream. So there you go. There you go, Meta Money. Thanks for popping in. Let's get to the chat, though. Let's talk it up with people. Let's see what's going on right here. Pasternak, how you doing? Good to see you today. Let's go, he says. How you doing? Great for coming out. G Money's in the house. How you doing, G Money? I think we need some custom emojis here for members. What you think? Ah, whatever. <laughs> I don't have time for that. But no, that would be fun, actually. I'm just kidding around. Oh, actually, um, I just want to let you guys know here, too, uh, before I get to the chat, I do have a fun thing going on for you guys today. Let me just share this for you. So um, I was talking about this earlier, you know, for my for my pending gem rewards. That happens today. But I have my comic book rewards today, too. Now, the cool part is, is there's four comics going out to my members. But there's one comic that's going to go out to you guys in the chat just for fun, okay? I'm giving you guys in the chat a comic today. So uh, you're going to want to stick around. And uh, if you want a real-world comic sent to you, 
I'm going to do a giveaway. And so let me show you what the comics are. Let me show you what the ones for my members are first. New Mutants 4, because we got the New Mutants earlier this week. So we're giving a New Mutants, a low, uh, a, you know, a low number early New Mutants. That's going out to my Drawpeg community, who oh, the blind box holders. And then we got this Star Wars 28. Now, this is an early Star Wars edition. And this is because of the Star Wars comic we got with the Wookiee in there. And so this cover's got Han and Chewie on it. And uh, it's a really nice cover. It's like going back. So this is actually the funny thing about this comic. It's before Jabba the Hutt was really actually created. And so he's actually in here, but he's under a different name. And it's it's a really interesting, quirky comic. So that's that's going out. Then I got a Miles Morales comic. The What If Miles Morales Became Captain America. That's going to my Drophead community too. So that's going to be cool. We'll do that today. Then I got, because of Daredevil, I'm hitting all the recent drops, you guys. We got Daredevil number one, this variant cover. That's going out to my Drophead community too. So, you know, you want to be involved in the Drophead. And then today for you guys in the chat, we're going to put out Spider-Man, the mutant agenda. Now, this is an interesting storyline from 1994. And uh, I'm thinking future MCU storylines here. This is a whole, you can look up the mutant agenda. It's pretty cool. And he's fighting the, the hobgoblin in this particular issue. And he's got Beast down there of the X-Men. So there's crossovers here. So I, I like to maybe throw something out that's a bit timely. Because we just got that Wolverine comic that's in the app, The Old Man Logan. And so that comic is, is just an absolute mental comic, right? So this one's going out to the chat right here today at some point. We'll do that in a little while, right? So there we go. Bob Sales, how you doing? Good to see you today. Thanks for coming again. My favorite positive person. You too. Bob Sales, do you have a new vid out? Let us know. We'll go watch it right after. Alex, how you doing? Uh, hi, MC. What's a better long-term? Miles Morales, Secret Rare, or Deadpool, Secret Rare? Now, are you talking about the, you're talking about the comic? Or, or are you talking about the collectible? Because there's both. There's both now. <laughs> but you know what? To be in all honesty, I would think that personally, the Miles Morales Secret Rare, it's the comic I think you're referring to, right? I would personally think that the comic book is a better play long term. It's just my opinion about that. You know, we can go look at it really quick, right? But I think the, the Secret Rare Miles Morales comic, okay, where is it right here? That is a big one, you guys. And the current VV marketplace values it much higher. So I think that's your answer right there. Anyway, it doesn't matter what, what's going on in the real world. We can only go by what's going on in VV itself. And here we go. You know, we got the secret rare right here. There's 28 listed, but it's 1149. I mean, that is a great deal, you guys. Like that is a great deal. But with Deadpool 3 coming, but it's not coming for over a year, right? But Deadpool, I mean... <laughs> Deadpool is the kind of character that will never, ever, ever be unpopular, you guys. He's only, uh, the more stuff they do with him, the more that, uh, so it's New Mutants here. I got to go scroll down to New Mutants. Uh, the more stuff that they do with him, and now they cross, they're going to cross him over into the MCU, like officially. I mean, who knows? The sky's the limit on this. So I did a, I did a video, like maybe about a week ago or so when I was talking about my top five secret rares that I would want to buy right now, new mutants 98 is right at the top of the list. You guys of that particular one at the time, it was like 500. Now it's to 750, which it should be. I mean, it should be way higher, but him and miles Morales, those two, I mean, I would probably pick miles Morales just because it's Spider-Man and like, you know, he's, you know, it's Spider-Man, right? And it appeals to like all ages, whereas Deadpool appeals to all ages. But, you know, it is an R-rated movie, so it's mostly adults, which is great. Um, but, you know, the other thing about it to consider, too, is that the, the Miles Morales Secret Rare comic book exists in the real world. And it is the most valuable of those comic books in the real world as well. So it matches up perfectly with the real world version that is the same cover that went for like $30,000 or something like that earlier this year. So, I mean, that has that, that's what it's got going for it as well. Right. So, you know, but the Deadpool, I mean, you know, Wolverine's going to be in his movie. Right. And who knows what they're going to do with that. Now we did get this comic today. Uh, what yesterday or whatever the, the Wolverine comic here old man Logan so you know I've been talking about this I, I never made a video about it but 
do you do you guys know what this comic book is about? Like, have you guys? I've talked about it a bit in the Twitter spaces, but let me just quickly mention it here. This comic is absolutely brutality, you guys. So the storyline is basically, and it's not a spoiler. If you want to go and like go on YouTube, you can go watch someone do like break down the whole old man Logan storyline, the comic book, because it is it's crazy, right? It's like basically all the villains team up finally and they kill all the heroes. They kill everyone like Spider-Man and every, all of them. And they take over the world basically. And Wolverine is one of the only ones that doesn't get killed during that time because he gets brainwashed at one point and he kills a bunch of heroes too, thinking they're villains and all that kind of stuff. And it's really gory and really crazy. And so he disappears for a long time and the red skulls, like the president of the United States and, and like, you know, the Dr. Doom and the own parts of the States and the, the incredible Hulk, you know, went basically berserk back, I guess, when the whole war happened. And he like, you know, owns like a part of the States called Hulk land and they just leave him alone. He's over there with a bunch of like offspring, you know, that are like incestuous, like, you know, breeds of him. And it's just nuts. Right. And so, you know, that that secret rare cover, he's not killing the Hulk there. Just so you guys know. That secret red cover, Wolverine's not not killing the Hulk. That's one of the Hulk's like kid cousins or something like that. And so it's a crazy comic. It's super like violent and R-rated. And it was really quite iconic. And it is the first appearance of a Wolverine from another multiverse. So it is a first appearance Wolverine comic, which is pretty cool. So anyway, um, you know, the thing about this one is like, <laughs> why would they bring this to the app? Like what, why are they dropping this in the app? I mean, it's nuts, right? Like, is this is this kind of like the what what is this kind of the character we might get in the Deadpool movie at some point in the future? Or like this storyline is not brand new. This came out in like a while ago. This story, right? This just didn't come out yesterday. This isn't it's not an old comic, but it's older. Like it's you know at least over ten years old, right? I think, right? And so anyway, you always got to ask why they drop in these comics in the app. Like, why is this coming to Vivi now? And uh, what does that mean for the future, right? Because it's, you know, otherwise it's just kind of random, right? So we'll see what happens in the Deadpool movie. The reason we got here is because of the question about Deadpool Secret Rare compared to Miles' Secret Rare, right? So, you know, like, you know, we'll see what happens with all this stuff. It's nuts, right? Blinky Blink's in the house. How you doing? Good to see you today, Blinky Blink. Happy Saturday to you, my friend, for sure. Your package is on the way from your win. So let me know when you get it, right? Bones B, how you doing? Hello, Drop Hedians. <laughs> You're trying to coin that phrase. I love it. I went for just one stamp for the fun of it and the gamble. Got the uncommon. There you go. Apparently, if you have all the stamps together in the showroom, they play as a band together. Well, that's rad. If you play them, put them all together in the showroom, they all play as a band. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, you guys. There you go. Uh, Double Quill, I like that music better. Oh, the, my new intro. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm working on some stuff. Drophead 2 is coming out this upcoming week, you guys. You know, if you want to if you wanna check that out for sure. Yeah, the dog. How you doing? Good to see you, too. Let's go. We got Jared in the house. How you doing? Yurt. Yurt. <laughs> I'll say it. Yurt. <laughs> Johnny Kane. How you doing? Good to see you today. Somebody just bought my Miles Rare for $279. No idea why. It just goes to show posting in the market at ridiculous prices is never a waste. Yeah, so what is it at $220? Maybe they like your mint number. Maybe they're, maybe they're collecting your mint number. Where's the market right here? So let's see where he's at right now. $195. So he bought it at $279. Maybe your mint number was special. Maybe there's... What mint number was it, Johnny? Do you remember? Maybe somebody just collects that. You, you're right. You never know. But here he is at 195 right there. And then, of course, this is the one I'm looking at. It's the ultra rare, right? So I'm trying to move my way up. Still sitting at 320. Just kind of like it's like it's hit that floor. We'll see if it goes a bit below that, right? Ray Ray, how you doing? Good to see you again today. Thanks for coming in. What's up? The new beats. There we go. Yeah, I got some new intro. I'm working on some new stuff, you guys, to help improve the uh, experience here on the channel. That's what we always got to move forward, you guys. We always got to get better. Double Quill, how you doing? Might have been looking for a number to match. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, too. He Nanu, how are you doing? Okay, you guys, I got to share this right here. This was so great. So I want to thank He Nanu and uh, Delilah for their awesome thing. Check this out. Okay, so, so Grogu, here he is. Where is he? 
Grogu. Grogu's been super happy because we won. We won a giveaway from Hinanu on the Twitter, uh, on his Twitter space there, Twitter feed, of this little Grogu. Check it out. We actually won. Look at him. Where is he? Can you see him? Hot Wheels. <laughs> I like how it says, it says Starships right here, but he's in his pod. So, you know, anyway, so this is Grogu. We got him. So thank you for that. But, so I won the giveaway, but that's not all. Look at what these fine people sent me. I hope, I hope you guys don't mind. I hope they don't mind. Hinani, you don't mind me sharing this, right? Cool. Okay. Look at all this. Look at this. I got a Hawaiian care package. Talk about the nicest people ever. Look, we got some nice milk chocolates, some macadamias straight from Hawaii. So I'm going to be enjoying those later today. Thank you so much. My family's mouth are watering over that. And then we just got some straight up macadamia straight from the big island. Look at that. Beautiful. Going to be eating those later tonight. I appreciate that. And then uh, this is hilarious. They gave me like a little co a cozy. Hang loose. <laughs> little beer beer cup holder right there. You know, a little stealthy beer cup holder. And then uh, Hinanu gave me a little, look at this. They gave me a little Hawaiian Islands map right there, you know, so I can see where they are and all the different, all the different islands and stuff. That's rad. Appreciate that. And then of course, what you really, really need in any situation is you need the Hawaiian, you know, beer bottle opener, you know, the bottle opener, just, you know, and then drink it. Of course, thank you. That's going to come in lots of handy for me, believe me. And then we got like the, another one right here, the little Hawaiian, the little beer bottle opener. So a beautiful little care package to go along with that uh, that awesome uh, giveaway that I happened to win. Thank you guys big time. I appreciate you for sure. <laughs> DV Twister is Drophead reference uh, to the new Batman. Uh, no, no, the Dropheads are my NFT project for the channel. If you get one, if you're a member of the channel, you join as the channel as a member, you get one. It's my own project. Uh, Matt Wood, MC, how you doing? Thanks for coming up. Meta Money, we talked. We got you uh, all hooked up there. That's good. So we can DM. I'll get you your drop head. Thanks for messaging me. And I'm also on Instagram. You can message me there too, right? Anytime. Uh, or you can just tweet at me too. Like if anybody here is a member that can't, you know, just tweet at me, just at me and uh, I'll see it and then I'll respond, right? So Hinanu finally made it to a live where I don't have to work. Yeah, I know I have my lives during the week. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it for sure, right? Yeah, the dog. Good to see you again too. Nice, Johnny. You never know what certain numbers mean. Yeah, you just never know. You could post something up and, uh, you know, like I said, it could have been a mint hunter. That's obviously probably what happened. Maybe you listed a really cool mint number, right? Maybe, you know, how you doing? So yeah, the dog, good to see you today. Yeah, the dog. Uh, so three, um, Three times common and two times uncommon for you. Rip today. Yeah, but you got some good stuff. Now you could trade a couple of those, maybe work your way up to the next one. So that's cool. I got nothing today. I got absolutely nothing because, you know, the glitch, right? There's that glitch. So, and I didn't see when they became live again. But, you know, they sold out. They sold out fast, you guys. I mean, for six gems, I mean, of course, right? You know, it's crazy, right? Smart Buy, how you doing? Good to see you today. Hey, I followed you back on Twitter too, Smart Buy, because I know you started that new Twitter, um, you know, uh, handle or whatever. So we're followed there for sure. Woofy's in the house. How you doing? Good to see you today, Woofy. Thanks for popping in. VV Virgin hit a secret rare today. Nice. And a sub 100 common. There you go. <laughs> nice drop day for you. Big W for the stamps, big L on the Morales. Yeah, I didn't hit the Miles Morales either. And like I said, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting here. But but Amazing Fantasy is pulling me. It always it's like it's like a giant magnet for me. I'm like, you know, it's like it's like um like a flame and I'm a moth. It's just like, uh, Amazing Fantasy, right? So it's it's always tough. So, I, you know, I got to stay focused and get one of these. I have the I have enough to get the Ultra right now. I just want to get it for a bit cheaper if I can. So, you know, we're we're waiting. Digital Phase Finance, how you doing? You should do a joint live with NFT Pirates. Yeah, we've done that. He's had me on his channel. We did an interview. It was so great. I mean, what an honor for me to be there. And then he came on my live stream too at one point. We were chatting it up. So you can go back and watch those. If you go to his channel, you can watch the interview that we did together where we just basically talked Vivi for an hour and a half. It was super fun. And you can actually see that same, another version of that on my channel from like about a month ago. We did the same thing again. So we'll definitely, hopefully do that again. 
we some we we chat with each other from time to time. We're Canadians. We have to stick together. <laughs> Double Quill got seven today. Nice. Sold three at a loss just so I could have the first five. Don't have the secret rare though. Yeah, so you got the secret rare is like sixty though. So if you want to get the full the full set, right? Where's the full set? Go to the market here. There we go. the The secret rare is like here. It is it's right here. There's a hundred of them. Oh, it's, not, it's now it's up to 76. Okay, it was 60 for a short term here. But yeah, you can give it at 76 now, right? So there you go. So you can complete the set for not too bad right there for sure. Like I said, what I'm doing is, you know, later today is I'm going to get three of them from my drop head community by doing our VV gem rewards. I'm going to buy them off them. So I'll have three automatically today because I didn't get one on the drop. So I'm going to I'm gonna buy it from them instead of from the market, you know, and they'll get some extra gems off of it because of the giveaway, right? Because of my... My, my utility. So that, that that's how I'm going to get my three. I'll get the three low rarities of them. I'm sorry, the three um, you know, lowest levels of them, right? I'll get the three, like, what are they at here? I'll get the, uh, hold on a second. I'll get the, these, I'll get, I'll hopefully probably get these three off of them today. And then I'll have those three. And then I'll play around with them and see, see how I like them or not, right? So yeah, there we go. So I saw that right there. Double cool. I like the stamps. But it's one of those times I wish we could have uh, trading to trade my duplicates with someone else for their duplicates. Yeah. Like a trading thing on VV. See, that's a really good idea because if you do trading on VV, then what you can do is like, you know, VV can still take a cut. Like they could take like a trading fee and then you could trade, right? That would be really cool. If you could do that, like have a function, I'm sure that might come in the future where people can trade stuff. I know we're supposed to get transfers back, I think at some point. So you know, you can just transfer it to you to other people and other accounts, you know, but they probably want to make sure that we're all super KYC before any of that business goes on. And so I know we all are, but they're still working through that stuff. But a trading thing would be cool, too, because then you could just do a trade and then VV could take a little fee, you know, like that's that's how they would still make money on that. And I have no problem with that. Like, say, if it was like one percent or something like, you know, it, you know, I mean, I love it to be free, of course, but you know, whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, the dog. There we go. Labyrinth drop looks pretty cool. I want Ambrosius. Yeah, so Labyrinth is interesting, you guys. So like, you know, I grew up in the 80s. I was born in, you know, in the mid 70s. So Labyrinth, you know, I'm fully, I was fully around during the Labyrinth time when that movie came out and all those types of movies at that time. And it's, it's a pretty like visually stunning movie. Very cool. David Bowie's in it. I mean, it's, it's super rad, right? You know, very, very cool. And so, um, you know, it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the what the Twitter, you know, what the, if they've released the Medium article yet. Let's just go to Twitter right here and let's see. Let's see if they've released the full breakdown. Yeah, look, they've, they've actually released the Medium article. So let's just check it out. Thanks for bringing that up. I haven't seen this yet. So let's go into it right here. Jim Henson. Now, Jim Henson. He's the famous like puppeteer and everything like that, you know, with like Kermit the Frog and all that and all those different movies that he did and all those shows. I mean, like he's super famous. Of course, Yoda, I believe, you know, Yoda, I believe is one of the ones he did too. So, I mean, there you go. So Jen so David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly, by the way, Jennifer Connelly. I mean, talk about <laughs> in the 80s, man. Woohoo! <laughs> she's still awesome today. She was just in Top Gun, right? She was just in Top Gun. So she's still doing lots of great stuff. But here you go. There's Labyrinth right here. There's David Bowie looking all in his prime. Very cool. So let's check it out. So we got the first one right here. We got Ludo, which is cool. He's that big creature guy. He was pretty rad. I remember this as a kid. It was kind of like, it was kind of a bit creepy, right? This movie in a lot of ways, right? There was a lot of, you know, if you've ever seen those movies around that time, like the movie Legend actually with Tom Cruise as well. That movie's really great with, with um, you know, Tim Curry, who plays it. He plays the devil in that movie. Let's let's get the devil in here, like his version of that. And that that's a really great movie. Tom Cruise plays, uh, I believe, Atreyu. And then there's like the never ending story, which is another kind of movie like this around that time. There's all these kind of movies I grew up with at the time. So this is this is one of those movies. And there we go. There's Ludo right there. Very cool. So we got. 4,800 of them, and it's going for 30 gems. Not bad at all. 30 gems, you can't complain. That's a good price, you guys, 30 gems. 4,800, sure, very cool. And here we go. Who we got here? We got Hoggle. <laughs> that is so funny. I didn't expect to see Hoggle. That is great. Foul-tempered Hoggle. He's not very friendly, but his cold demeanor begins to thaw as he learns the value of friendship. There you go. There's Hoggle. So there's 3,600 of him. That's pretty cool. 
So these are these are actually really highly detailed. Look at look at the detail there. And look at the detail on that. That's pretty cool. Now, who do we got here? Oh, there we go. We got the Goblin Knight. That's very cool. These guys were awesome. I remember these guys. These guys were great. 2,300 of them at the rare level. Okay, these troublemakers are part of the larger Goblin army. Carrying their spears and riding their steeds, th steeds through the labyrinth. It was very, very cool. Those guys used to kind of freak me out a bit. I'm not going to lie. And then we got Sir Didymus. <laughs> riding his dog i love it oh that is so awesome this is bringing back a lot of memories for me i haven't seen these characters in years i haven't watched that movie in a long time 1986 with the secret rare that's the first appearance there we go so we we didn't get david bowie but that's okay we didn't get the girl but you know what this is the first of them so we might get them at another time in the future right so i'm sure we'll get more la there's tons of labyrinth characters they could go into so that's very cool, right? So 30 gems, that is not a bad price. So let me know what you guys think in the chat about that drop tomorrow. It should be fun. I'll decide whether I'm going to go for it or not, depending on, you know, what I do with my Miles Morales Ultra Rare, if I get that, or if I get another AF-15 with the gems I have, right? So we'll see what happens. But let me know, right? Uh, I'm a surprise Labyrinth is such a low drop. 30 gems. I just want Hoggle. <laughs> there you go. Well, you can get, right? You can get. MC, can you review the back soon drop head utility? Uh, I, I guess I don't want to send mine to the burn wallet. Yeah, really quickly. So I can do that for you, watch and pray. Yeah, so if you own a drop head that's got the back soon on it, it's like, you know, when the market used to close, that's why I made that one because they're VV focused, right? In a fun way. And so now that the market doesn't really close anymore on drops, yeah, I decided that if you want more Omi, you could burn one of them and get 250 Omi just for burning it. You send it to the burn address on the OpenSea, and then you just put it in the channel. There's a channel on my Discord that's for burning, and you just say, I burned this one, this mint number, and then I will then transfer you 250 Omi. As simple as that, right? So you can keep it if you want, but that's the utility on that particular one because they removed that sort of market in the market, the, the market doesn't really close anymore. So that was kind of fun when the market was closed. You had that one and, um, you know, like it was, you'd wait for the market to come back, that kind of idea. So that's how that one works. But, you know, um, there's, there's actually going to be changes to the utility coming up in 2023 as I adjust the programs. So stay tuned. If you want to hold on to it, it's all good because, you know, there's going to be other stuff going on in the future. So it's all good. But that's how that one works. Okay. Hinano, you're gonna go, you're gonna go after the ultra rare as well, just being patient. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like I said, I sold the rare so I can go after the ultra rare. I'm just trying to move up. Even though I like, I love the the rare, uh, you know, but I want to get to that ultra rare while he's still at a price level that is cheaper, right? That's what I'm doing too. The ultra rare miles, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 30 gems is that's good price. You can't complain. That's a good price for this for sure, right? Holy smokes, thank you so much, Yavas. Yavas, thank you so much for the super chat. Sorry if this is off topic, but I just want to thank you for inspiring me to make the decision to secure my own AF15 secret rare this past week. NFA, of course, holy smokes. Congratulations on securing your secret rare Amazing Fantasy 15. Wow, dude. Everybody, congratulations. Congratulations, and thank you for the chat, man. I really appreciate that. Wow, dude, I'm trying to get there. I've been mentioning it. I'm working on some sort of, you know, off, like I'm working on a real world deal with some of my collectibles to try to get there. It's it's in the middle of it. I'll keep you guys posted. If I do happen to get to the level where I can actually add the gems, I'm working on it. You know, my, I'm trying to get my, my collection to go from physical to digital halfway, 50% by the end of the year. So I'm working on... um. I'm working on something right now in the background, you know, and, uh, you know, just positioning myself, trying to, you know, but it's, it's a whole complicated thing. Try selling something in the real world, you guys, of value in the collectible world. It is not easy. This is why VV is the best for this kind of stuff. I'm talking Star Wars stuff specifically here. Uh, High-end Star Wars collectibles in the real world, they sell, but... <laughs> It's not like you just press a button and they're gone and done and you list it at a price and it's done. There's all sorts of stuff that goes into some of this stuff, especially at that level. So you were able to secure one. I Hopefully I'm right behind you. And thanks again for the chat right there, man. I really appreciate that. 
<laughs> Let's get back up here a little bit right here. Get back to where we were in the chat. I lost my space. That's very exciting right there for sure. <laughs> Let's just get right back up. I'll catch up to the chat though, for sure. Pong, thanks for listing the uncommon Boba. Uh, my collectibles completed my set last night. We'll never sell it. There you go. I still have my set for sure. I, ch I shaved a couple off my stack. Now my stack is down to one set because I, you know, I want to go after that on that ultra rare miles Morales and I can get Boba Fett at any time. So I still have the full set, but I'm glad I completed it for you. That's fantastic. Congrats. Fan who's in the house. How you doing? Good to see you today for sure. Meta money got AF 15 for three 99 yesterday. There you go. I saw that three 99. It's very, very, uh, you know, it, it's very tempting for me. And that's just why <laughs> I really got to hope that, hold on one second right here. We're, yeah, okay, we're still sharing this right here. Hold on, let's get back to Vivi, hold on. We'll look at those again. We'll see how that does in the, does tomorrow. We'll see how people, what people think about Labyrinth, right? It's, it's bringing back big memories for me because I grew up during that time. But like I say, if you go to the comics and you go to AF15, I got, I'm telling you, 268, that one's been there for almost a day now. And it's just, it's just calling my name. There's a 399. What are you trying to do to me? Tutor. <laughs> what are you doing to me here? I I want to get my A I want to get my ultra rare Miles Morales and you're throwing a tune a 399 AF15. I can't look. Kryptonic, how you did quick comment on the messy drop from today. Yeah, I just mentioned it. There was a messy drop, a bit of a glitch. You know, I wasn't able to get one. It went sold out immediately. And then I didn't see their tweet. So I couldn't go for the drop. So it sucks. But you know, this doesn't happen very often. This is the first time it's happened in a long time. So I'm not going to worry about it. If it was a Miles Morales drop though, I would have been choked. But you know, hey, we're still in beta, you guys. We're still in beta. Smart buy. If Vivi releases DC Comics Action Comics one with the same 10k editions, what do you think will will do better, AF15 or Action Comics one? Action Comics one. <laughs> I think Action Comics one uh, at the Secret Rare. Well, the both. I think they'll both be right there together. But Action Comics one is uh, is older, much older, and so, you know it's 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 extremely valuable. They're both like the uh, Amazing Fantasy. A one, Amazing Fantasy 15 and Action Comics 1. I mean, those two comics are probably, I mean, there's there's the, you know, there's the detective comics with um with Batman's first appearance. That one's big too, like really big. Like we're talking, those are top three probably in the entire world, like of any comics that have ever been created. So the VV community will decide, but they would be very close. I would assume that Action Comics 1 would go above it though, because it is. I mean, it's the only one that could rival it, but it is Spider-Man. And we see how Superman gets treated in this app. And we see how Spider-Man gets treated. He gets treated a bit differently than Superman. There's only one Superman. There basically is the equivalent of Action Comics 1 in VV right now. It's called Superman. It's his first appearance. And it's sitting in the app for like under 500 gems. Right? Action Comics 1 in the, in the, in the NFT world, okay, in the NFT space, like in this Web3 space, this whole thing that we're getting started, this whole thing that we've jumped into and we've come along and we're coming into, we got it already. Here it is. It's 500 gems. Superman. His first appearance. Superman. And he's sitting there at 500. Nobody in this app will let him fly. It's crazy to me. I've owned three of them at one point. I had three in my vault at one point. Last one I sold was about 1300. I sold it because I could just see that people were just not interested in Superman for whatever reason. It's really interesting, right? Now, Action Comics 1 is a different animal because this is an unproven asset that we don't know about and we don't know where this is going to go, collectibles and stuff like that. They're unproven, but they're really, you know, this is still his FA in all of the, the web universe, web three. He's sitting right there at 500. People are just giving them away. It's nuts. I sold my last one, like I said, at 1300 So I felt I was giving them away at that point. You know, I felt like I, I you know what I, you know what I got? I got, um, what did I get with that? I think I, I think that was right around the Vader time. 
you know, and I could just see it. You could just see it. He was just going to keep going down and down and down. And I was watching my own three. I bought one Superman at 5K, you guys. I bought one at 2,200. I bought one at 3,000. Those are the, those are my Superman purchases. Okay. I sold one at 3K. I sold one at uh, 1,300 and I sold one at probably, probably like, yeah, right around. Yeah. But I think I sold two around 3K in the day and I kept my first one that I got. The first one I made a video about back in like January, like Superman. Cause he was at that point. I bought him at, um, what am I get him at at that point in that video? Cause that was before he vaulted up to like five or 6,000. Right. I was like, you buy this guy now he's going up. And he did, he went all the way up and I was super happy. And I bought another one at that time, <laughs> you know, right. We were all, we were all there. We all did the same stuff. I mean, we're all in this together. But now he's like 10 times lower than that at 500. It's just crazy. So, you know, I don't know. If Action Comics 1 comes to the app, that would be big. I, I personally don't think we're getting DC Comics in this app. You know, I don't think we'll ever get them. They're too unorganized. There's too many people to talk to. We've heard VV talk about it. We've heard them say, like, it's not like it is with Marvel and Disney, you know? That's like, you know, it, it, it's just, DC Comics are fragmented, the, the ownership of things. And, um, uh, I, you know, but, but maybe if we ever did this, that would be just astounding. I would absolutely love it. I would love it. And the first comic that they should drop, if we ever get DC comics in this app, okay. Forget about action comics one. This, this is the first comic that they should drop right here. In my opinion, <laughs> this one right here, Todd's Batman, right? This is the one you want to get if you're if you're VV VV if you guys are watching and you're working on you're working on DC super hard give us this guy first and make it like a super limited 250 of these that would be amazing people would freak out and love this cuz it's iconic and it goes with your uh, it goes with Batman it goes with Todd which by the way in case you guys didn't know and I'm sure you did cuz you saw the tweet it's Todd. It was Todd's birthday yesterday, guys. Todd's birthday. Two years in the app. Let's just quickly recognize that really quick. I'm like, like, actually, let's not even quickly recognize it. Let's, 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 um, let's recognize this. Okay. Let's stop for a minute. Let's go down here. Let's stop for a minute and let's recognize this. This is Todd. This is Todd. Happy birthday. Two years. This is yesterday. Happy birthday. Two years ago today, the game was changed. Happy birthday, Todd. Let's see your Todd Batman AR picks in the vids below. This started it all, you guys. We would not be here today without Todd. Everything goes back to this collectible right here in the app. And if you don't have one, you gotta get one. I own one. I have one. I, I, I got my Todd back in like late spring. I made a video about it. I never thought I would be able to own one because he was like so high in price. And I wasn't here then. I wasn't here when he came out. And, you know, when I first got to the app, he was already pretty high. Like, you know, I, I'm coming up, by the way, in uh, two days is my my uh, one year and my one year birthday here in VV. My, my birthday is coming up in a couple of days. So I'll be live streaming that day. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna have a birthday stream. It's gonna be super fun. A VV birthday stream and do some stuff. But anyway, this guy here started it all as we all know. And like, you know, when I got mine, I felt like I'd finally, I finally arrived in VV. I managed to get one. It's a, it's a legacy piece that I think everybody who can own one should own one. Uh, kind of like how that logo is turning out to be right. So, and I really do think that they should be giving us, they should be doing more stuff with Todd. All they got to do is decide that they want to do stuff with Todd because Todd's the first, you know, launched the app. And, uh, I think that's significant more than just Batman's first appearance, more than just Todd McFarlane. You know, if Evie, if you're watching this, let's make some, let's make Todd even more special. Everybody let's give him the even more credit than, you know, like this is the one that started it all. And so if you don't own one, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's key pieces in here that you should own. And he's at a good price right now. I mean, like, you know, and it's not like I, I'm, I'm not trying to pump them because I'm not selling my Todd. 
The, the day I sell my Todd is the day I leave Vivi. I'm telling you right now. If I decide I'm done, Vivi's done and I'm done or whatever, like, you know, if I'm uh, like, I'm, I'm all done, I had a great run or whatever, you know, that'll be the day I sell Todd, you know, for sure. Or unless he goes to like, you know, 50,000 and uh, I want to put my son through college or something like that, then I might do that. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let me just say that. Like, you know, I want to put my kids through college and he goes to 50,000. I might, I might do it then because you know, <laughs> like I'm, I'm not stupid. Right. But like, if you go to them, if you go to them, I mean, we can talk a bit about them because like we should, I mean, you should gloss over Todd's birthday. Yeah. There's Superman right there. You know, here he is down here. Sitting at 1140. The thing about it though, guys, in the barest of, in the, in the barest of bear markets, you know, this guy here is still sitting strong over a thousand at 1100 or 1200. He's still sitting super strong, you know, you know, he's, he's just, he's just sitting here. Like he's been holding strong. So, you know, I know his prices come way down from way above in the past, but he's like, you know, you know, he doesn't get under a thousand. If he does, he's gone instantly. So like he's holding nicely strong right here and we'll see where he goes from here. But yeah, his birthday, I wanted to just recognize that really quick. There you go. I guess I should spend the whole day just talking about Todd, but I'm not gonna, we got other stuff to talk about too. <laughs> Let's get back to the chat. It's a 399 gone. The 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 AF15. No, it's still there. Let's just know. Is it refresh? Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone, but 400 is the same thing. But yeah. <laughs> Whenever it hits under 400, it's gone, man. There we go. DC Comics. Yes, please. I know. Let's go here. Detective Comics 27. The Batman. Yeah, that would be massive too. I think Action Comics would would be higher. I think it would go in order like this, personally. I think Action Comics 1, Amazing Fantasy 15, very close behind, very close. And then, uh, you know, Detective Comics 27. I think that's just how I see it. But, you know, the market would decide, right? I mean, maybe, uh, you know, Action Comics 1, like, it depends on the mid numbers. You have They all have to be the same exact number, right? So... Farid, how you doing? Good to see you today. Also sniped Amazing Spider-Man 3 Secret Rare for 475. I know. <laughs> I saw that. There's like nine of them, you guys. Look, look at this. Some some stuff is lunacy. It's so funny to me. Like, 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 go to this. Look, look at this. I own that comic too. Check it out. Where is it? Where is it? Amazing Spider-Man 3. Okay. There's 11 of them. There's 11 of them. That's it. You know, 524, 525, you know, it's all right. You know, whatever people want to do, you just, you just do you, whatever you want to do, you just go ahead and do it. <laughs> it's just crazy to me though. That's nuts. I bought that one at 1300 and I was super stoked to get my hands on that one. I worked my way up to amazing Sp uh, Spider-Man three at 1300. I was like, yeah. And that wasn't that long ago. It's not like it was like, that was a year ago or something like, you know, that was a couple months ago. I was like, yes, but it just shows where the market is right now, but there's only 11 of them or 10 of them at any given time. It's not like, it's not like there's 50 of them for, for 500 gems. There's only a few people selling them for super cheap across the board, right? On any of these comics, it's, this is the way it is, right? There's only a few people selling these things. I mean, look at Strange Tales. There's 21 of him. That's that's decently high for a, for a, for a comic of this magnitude, you know the five forty to six hundred. This is another one of those monster comics that you know is is being listed low right now. You know that's crazy to me too, right? <laughs> but you know it just is the way it is. This one's crazy too. Look, Amazing Spider Man fifty. There's only nine. There's only nine of this one. Look at look at the price. Look at the price jump. These are all of them, guys. This on screen here, th these are all that's available right here. There, there's no scrolling. This is it. Three third that three hundred and thirty three dollar one has been sitting there for days. And then look, three seventy five, four fifty six, six ninety nine, eight hundred. Wild, right? Absolutely wild. There you go. <laughs> and it's like that across the board. 
It's not like there's 50 of them at the, that's the thing. You see the floor price, you think these are worth low, but there's only a couple of listings like that. It's not like there's 50 of these silver age secret rares, you know, all of them on the floor. There's only a few, you know, and when one sells, sometimes another one pops up. So it, you know, most people are just holding them, right? Captain Obvious. Those of us that got these grill comics in a bear market are so blessed. I'm in it for the long haul. You are hundred percent right. You're 100% right. Grail Comics and the collectibles too. Exactly, right? Farid, which one would you pick, MC? A Todd or AF-15 Ultra Rare? Um, I would... It's a really good question. Uh, I would I would take... I have, to, I have to think about... It really depends because I'm pretty biased. Like, I own Todd. I would get both, okay? I mean, I don't want to have to choose between both of those. I just want both. So if I had to choose between both of those, I would take the Todd. I would I would take Todd first. The first. Lock it in. You know, that's what I would do. Then I can go back and get Amazing Fantasy Ultra Rare. Because, you know, I mean, I could just pick up a few of the commons too. Right? I could just pick up one common for way. If I got the Todd, for example, and then I saved up some gems and I that's I didn't have very much money. And then I grab one common uh, Amazing Fantasy. I would feel pretty good about myself as opposed to just having the ultra rare of Amazing Fantasy, right? So, and by the way, I guess my answer is I own the Todd. I don't own the ultra rare. So that's my answer. <laughs> but it's a really good question. It's a really good question. Meta Money would take the Todd. English, Todd did not start Vivi. Todd is a common and the price is a joke. More like 50 cents. You're a dreamer. I am a dreamer. English, I'm a dreamer. English, you, you made a spelling mistake, English. <laughs> you're a spelt, you're, you, you, and then apostrophe R-E. English. <laughs> but thanks for your comment, man. I'm just kidding with you. Meta money. Oh my God. Just saw that 959 golden moment lamp for 61 gems. Check the GM. Check the gold moment. Uh, D959 was there for 109. Got the D and the lamp is gone. Oh, you could have matched the set. That would have been rad, right? Meta money. MC, are you going for the fake stormtrooper? No, I am not. And I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm not even going to talk about it at all. <laughs> You know, so like, no worries, right? No worries. No, no love, no, no, uh, nothing given, no love for that, for sure. Hinanu, I'm biased. I like Batman. I know, right? So do I. I like Batman too. I mean, look at how many movies they made. Plus the Bat Cows is a great project. Yeah, the Bat Cows is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So when you say you like Batman, Hinanu, are you talking about how you love um, are you talking about you love the detective comics or are you talking about the Todd in that comparison? Because yeah, yeah, I would take the Todd over that one just because it's the first, right? Howard, how you doing? I got 14 stamps on the drop, LOL. Well, wow. one secret rare, one ultra rare, three rares. The rest are commons and uncommons. Nice, man. Got all the stamps ever released on VV plus a few multiples. Fantastic. I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, good quote right there. That is great, Howard. Congrats to you, man. That is amazing. You got all the stamps. See, you can be a stamp collector on here. You can do great. You can have a really great fun time with it. And there's, I love those presidential stamps. I, I think they're the best stamps. I wish they came out with those ones first, man. Like those would have been so valuable even more, right? But, you know, I like the stamp. I don't collect the stamps. I collect comics. But I like them, right? Matt, how you doing? LOL. Okay, there you go. Terry, is Strange Tales 111 a good one to stack? Yeah, so Strange Tales, okay, Strange Tales 111 is the second appearance of Doctor Strange. I know it's the first appearance of um, of uh, Mordo, his, his buddy there. Uh, Mordo or Mordo or whatever. But it's really the second appearance of Doctor Strange. And in the real world, it's very scarce and very valuable. And uh, it's definitely a good one. All the Silver Age and like older and even the Bronze Age stuff, they're all great to stack. So I got this one. I got this one right here. Straight, look at this, look at this one I got. This is fun right here, just to show you. Look, Strange Tales 112. <laughs> the Living Bomb right there, see that? 
Is it too late to stop the eel? The uh, atomic explosion will occur in less than one second. There you go. There's my Strange Tales 112. I picked this one up. It's a complete beater. I picked it up at the actually at Golden Age Collectibles in Vancouver, Canada. That's where I picked it up. And, uh, you know, it goes it goes with the other two. It's like one, two, three. Now, uh, Doctor Strange is not in this, but the Human Torch is. And look at that cool cover. So, anyway. I'm not sure why I showed you that. I just thought I'd show it to you. It's kind of fun, right? So, <laughs> Detective Comics. I almost bought a Todd, but AF15 Ultra Rare was the same price. Oh, did you get that Ultra Rare? Is that what you did? See, I own the Todd. So, you know, if I didn't own a Todd and I saw the two of them there, oh, that would be so tough for me too, though. <laughs> you, can't, you can't help yourself with the AF15. I'm the, exactly the same thing with you, Hinanu. I'm exactly the same. It's right there. Let's check it out again right here. 268, same price on that one. 400 on that one. Yeah, that 399 was there. And then, like I said, I'm looking at the ultra rare Miles Morales. I'm just waiting patiently. 320 still sitting in the exact same position. You know, I'm not sure. I didn't think it would actually go down and during the live stream today, but who knows? It could. It could, right? And like I said, there's the rare right there. 195 exactly the same position so i'm i'm patient i'm patient i'm waiting on the ultra rare that's why that's what i want to get there's only there's less than a thousand of them if i can get it a little bit cheaper i'm good and i i, I feel like i can be a bit patient on this one because check it out 320 there's a lot listed in the 320 range so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um let me just sorry let me just share this again right here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's like, it's like about 15 or, or close to 20 listed between 320 to 320 to 330. So I don't have to like worry uh, about missing it unless somebody comes in and goes absolutely berserk and wipes the floor clean. Right. Even then it would only go up to 340 or so, which I could still get to. So I'm just waiting on that one for sure. Just waiting on that one. So let's get to the, uh, I know this is the funny part. Let's, let's get to the uh, comic book giveaway here. Let's get to the comic book giveaway because some people left and you don't want to be leaving. That's for sure. Only a few, maybe 10 people left. But the you that are here, this is your chance. We're going to do the comic book giveaway right here. This is the Spider-Man Mutant Agenda. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hold off on that for one second. I'm going to do my draw peg giveaways, everybody. We got... 481 members let's go to the um random number generator right here this is how it works with my drop heads every saturday we do our comic book in real world giveaways if you're a drop head owner we got 481 entries and so we got one comic going out to you guys today four comics going out to my members here are the comics new mutants four uh, because we got new mutants earlier in the week. So this comic is a low, low new mutants, you know, really cool. Very cool. And then star Wars 28, because we got that star Wars comic, I'm giving you chewy right here just for fun. That one's actually decently valuable too in the real world, which is good. We got a miles Morales comic. Cause we got miles Morales. I like to stay current with my giveaways guys, miles Morales. What if, if he was, uh, you know, the storyline, this is the alternate cover with the, with the action figure cover. Cause I'm an action figure collector. So I wanted to give you guys one of these. That's really fun. And then we got Daredevil number one, the variant cover. And this is the classic Daredevil. I picked this variant cover because this is a brand new comic because we got this basic version in the VV app. So you can match it up with your VV app with your VV. So that's very cool. So these four comics are going out to my draw peg community today. And then I said the last comic that's going out to you guys in the chat is the mutant agenda. So let this is the you know, 1994 Spider-Man X-Men crossover you know, future MCU storyline stuff. I'm trying to like speculate here. So I'm giving you a comic that's kind of cool to kind of get you into the know and look up the storyline. It's really cool. So anyway, let's go back up here. Let's do the first comic right here. There's 481 of us in the, in the thing that have a chance to win. This is how we do it. If you own a drop head with the blind box logo on its chest, the blind box, you get entered and you get entered for all of them. You only have to enter one time. Here's the first one. Number 196, I'll tell you who wins that one in just a sec. Number 196, who's that one right here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is good. I love it. I love it. This is honestly my favorite part of the live stream is doing these rewards. I absolutely I love it. I love looking for comics to give away. 
to my draw peg community. Number nine. Wow, let's go early. We don't usually get earlier numbers like that. Who do we got? Number nine. Oh, there we go. He's doing he's doing well. He's won a, a few times. This is the Star Wars comic, okay? Okay, so he gets that one. That's great. Okay, so let's go, let's go back here to the uh let's go, let's do the next one. This one's for the um which one is this one for? This is for the Miles Morales. Okay, we got number 136. So who's that? And I'll reveal them in just a sec. 136. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yep. There we go. Okay, and we got the final one for the drop heads is the Daredevil. Let's just take a let's take a quick look at that Daredevil again. Guys, go to your comic shop right now. Go to your comic shop and snag this Daredevil. It's a beaut. It's an absolute beauty. Look at that comic. Isn't that gorgeous? And he's going to be all over the MCU now, you guys. It's going to be fun. It's not the yellow version we saw in She-Hulk, but or the comp match the comic we have. But this matches our VVNFT, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, this is the classic uh, classic cover. That's why I picked that one for you guys. So let's show like let's let's go back to the. Uh, I got to show what I got to actually show the random number generator here, so you guys can see it. Number three three seven. So that is a that is a, a newer person who won right there. A newer entry, 337. Who wins that one? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool, cool. There we go. Got that right there. Okay. So we got those winners right there. We'll we'll I'll show them on my Discord. I'll share them right here for you. Okay, first winner. First winner is MVP NFT. So I'll be sending this out and I'll post this in my Discord. You don't have to be here on the live stream to win. You just have to enter and be entered and you're always entered. So the MVP and uh, N NFT wins. And then Ghost888 wins and he's won a couple lately. Sometimes the luck of the draw, you saw, you saw it right here. The luck of the draw just lands on people. So he's won the Star Wars comic, which is really good. This comic's pretty valuable if you get a 9.8. I got a nice clean copy for you. Mario C wins the uh, Miles Morales comic. Congratulations. I'll send that out to Mario. That's very cool. And then the Daredevil comic goes to Poppy. And Poppy is in our Discord. So Poppy, sadly, I cannot um, mail to Poppy. Just our locations. My Canada post won't go there. So when Poppy wins, he gets a VV uh, comic book to be delivered at a later date once transfers come back. So that means this comic is going to go back into my Discord and is going to have a second chance rebound for my members to win in my Discord server. So good news for my, my, my channel there. This comic's going out to someone and Poppy gets the VV NFT. Now we're going to do this buddy right here for the people that stuck around. We're going to do the mutant agenda in the chat. To you guys right here, I'm going to take care of you guys today. Send you out a nice, fun comic book. So let's do this right here. And and duck and cover. You're late to the party, but you just got here in time for the comic giveaway. You could win. So what I want you guys to type in the chat to enter. This is how we're going to do it. This is how we always do it. You type a comment in the chat that I tell you to type. I scroll the chat with my eyes closed. Whoever I land on wins the comic. Then you got to DM me your shipping address so I can actually send this to you. So if you're not comfortable with that, do not enter because this is a physical comic in the real world. I have to send it to you physically. I'm not going to show up at your door. Don't worry. But I'm going to, you know, so I'm going to tell you what to chat and what to put in the chat. So you have to be comfortable. So only enter. You can type as many times as you want to win. Um, just don't type a paragraph. Okay. Just one, one entry per, and then you can, you can type like five times and you can just keep typing it in. It's all good. Uh, but if you type a paragraph uh, just to get that extra space, I won't. Uh, you won't win. Just so you know, okay? <laughs> so what I want you to type in the chat is, uh, um, okay, what, what should we do here? <laughs> Let's just type in mutant agenda. There you go. Type in mutant agenda. You can see the spelling right there on the, on the screen. Type that in. I'll give you guys a second. And then I'll scroll the chat. And I'll send it out to you. Whoever land, whoever I land on, will win this today. There you go. I might, I might crack my my macadamias from Hinanu. 
I might crack them right now. Have a few bites right here. Actually, let's do that. While I'm while you guys are entering, enter a bunch of times. I'll give you guys a, a chance to enter. Enter as many times as you want, guys. Let's let's open this up right here. Let's have a macadamia straight from Hawaii. Oh, that flew off there. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is good. Hinanu, you're making my day, my friend. If you win right now, that's going to be really, really funny. If you win. So here, here, my little, keep typing, everybody. Keep entering. Macadamia, here's the first one. Oh, man. That is so good. That is so good. I'll give you 10 more seconds, everybody, while I'm eating my macadamias. Straight from the big island. Straight from Hawaii. Oh. That is good. Dang. Mm. Man, I'm going to eat that whole bag in two minutes. Okay, you guys ready to go? You guys ready? Okay, I'm going to go. So, what I, like I said, here, let me just hide the comment right here. Like I said, I'm going to scroll the chat up and down with my eyes closed. Whoever I land on wins. You got it? Okay, here we go. I'm scrolling. I'm going up, going down, going up. Going down. You can keep entering if you want. I'm going up and around, and I'm stopping right there. Now, who wins? It's Henry. Henry wins. Henry wins the Mutant Agenda. Congratulations, Henry. You win. Let me know in the chat that you saw that you won, and you got to DM your address, and then you'll get this Mutant Agenda comic. There you go, my friend. <laughs> Let me know. Say yay or yes or awesome or something. There we go. <laughs> I see it. I see it. There he is. Woohoo. Okay, Henry, you're the winner. Live stream winner. Henry, congratulations, you guys. There we go. So DM me your shipping address if I don't have it already. I can't remember whose addresses I have. I th you may have won before. But just do it again. Just send it to me again, just in case. And I'll get that out to you um, probably, I think on Monday is when I'll be shipping these comics out when, uh, when I go back to the post office. So there you go, guys. That's how it's done. Simple as that, right? Okay, so I'm going to add Poppy right here. So Poppy gets another entry. Look at how many comics that Poppy's won that are going to come from Vivi. You know, he hasn't won since the second. So there's a 15th. He won another Vivi comic. So when transfers come back, Poppy is going to get loaded. He's going to get rich. <laughs> hey, Daniel, those Mac nuts with a beer is a great combo. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I'll do that a little bit later today. I can eat this entire bag right now. Look at that. <laughs> thank you so much, Hinanu. You guys are the best. Guys, if you're not following Hinanu on Twitter, make sure you follow him because he's doing giveaways and all sorts of fun stuff. And all you guys, you know, everybody, make sure you follow each other, you guys. Make sure you guys are all like, you know, hanging out with each other, following each other, keeping the family strong together. Find each other on Twitter. You know, follow each other back, share stuff all over, right? So, Duck and Cover, as an Australian living in Switzerland, I miss macadamias. Oh, are you living in Switzerland? I know you're Australian, but I didn't know you're in Switzerland. That's cool, man. That's cool. You miss them. You, you can't get them up there. Hinanu, send him something. <laughs> Enter one of his giveaways. Maybe you'll get some nuts there. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go on to the next thing that we do in the channel. Now, this is what we're going to do here with the VV Gems. It's exactly the same setup, but it's a different version of the drop head. And what happens is if you own the drop head that has the reserving logos and the pending logo at this current time, you can win VV Gems from me. I will buy a collectible from you for higher than it's worth. Now, not crazy high because we don't want to get banned with some sort of weird algorithm. I mean, who knows, right? So it's like about 10 gems you get, 10, 12 gems. But I do three times a week. And so we're adding it up slowly, you know. And then you're gonna, I'm going to buy the stamps from somebody today. So I'm going to get my three versions of the stamps. I'm going to get the, the lowest three rare uh, versions there. And uh, that's how I'm going to get my stamps today because I didn't get them on the drop because of the glitch. But it's the same thing. <clears throat> we've held out, we've given out over 293 gems since the program started. 
only a little while ago. The program started in um, at August 1st. So already 300 gems have been given back to the community just for being a part of this, which is great. So we got 361 entries of people who own this draw pad with this logo. So this is exactly the same system we do right here. I'm going to pick three winners today. And then on my Discord, they're going to let me know that they actually posted that one of those stamps for me at the price I say of 14 gems or so. And then I will just buy it. It's simple, you guys. That's how it works. So let me just get to the um, let me get to the the random number generator again. This is how we do it. We got 361 entries now. So let's reset the generator. Bing. And we'll see who wins. We'll see who wins. Let's get to this really quickly, though. Patrick posted a low mint joker at the floor. You guys, check it out. Check it out where we can always help you. If you guys got something you want to sell, you can always type it in the chat. You know that, right? I don't mind. If you got something you're trying to sell, type it in the chat and I will read it out while we're live. It's all good. I can help you guys try to sell something, you know, if you want to get the word out there, right? So anyway, here we go. We got the, uh, the, the pending gems. 361 people have entered into this, which is crazy, right? Which is awesome. And I, by the way, stick around because I got a little sneak peek at Collection 2 that's coming up this week. And they all have utility, which I have not announced, but it's all good fun. Let's go. Number one. Number 112. Okay, let's see who number 112 is, and then I'll do the same thing. There we go. So, so winner number one who's going to do the gems. There we go. We got number 112. Nicely done. I'll tell you guys in just a sec. So who's the next one? Who's the next one that wins? Number 32 on the list. And you guys can follow along if you're on my Discord. Ah, there we go. Number 32. Nicely done. Okay. Now let's see who the third person is right here. Number 206. Who is that? Who is that? Hold on a sec. Okay, we got a double winner for somebody today. That's really great too. Somebody won twice today, which happens if you own a bunch of drop heads. So that's really good. Okay, let's let's go let's go back to the thing right here and I can show you who won. There we go. All right, our winners this week. Mr. Tong man. G Money and Poppy wins again. Poppy hasn't won in a while. So Poppy wins again. So which is good, which is really good. Duck and Cover, what's this giveaway? So Duck and Cover, this is my drop heads utility programs that happen. That's what this giveaway is. It's BV Gems. So they post an item in the market for more than it's worth, and I buy it. They're going to post me the stamps today because I want to get my couple stamps for 14 gems, and I'm going to buy that stamp from them for more than it's worth, and it's because they own a drop head that has this logo on it. That's how it works, Duck and Cover. Do you have a drop head yet? I think you do, right? It's in the Discord, all the stuff right here. So that's going to happen today. I'll post those winners. Congratulations to that. And if we times 14 times 3, what's that? Um, hold on one sec. I like, to, I like to update this. 14 times 3 is 42 plus 293. 335, we're getting up there. 335 gems. There we go. <laughs> So that's cool. I hope you guys appreciate that. And then this is coming up right here. Drop Heads 2 is coming up, you guys, this week. So stay tuned. Big announcements coming up for airdropping, right? So that's going to be super fun. And we're going to have lots of fun with that. I'll have a live stream coming up very soon as well, right? So, <laughs> oh, you have the market closed drop head. So that one you can burn for 250 OMI if you want. That's that program. But if you want to keep it, don't worry. You know, they're all going to have this uh, very similar utility once the new year starts. And there's one other drop in that doesn't have utility yet because markets, the transfers are closed, right? So anyway, <laughs> I want to get back really quickly now. I want to look at my, um, I want to look at the Miles Morales right here. I want to see where he's at because this is what I've been looking at today. I want to get to that ultra rare level. Amazing Fantasy is tugging at me though. It always does. Still exactly the same. No one's buying. No one's selling. Let's check out how many we actually have in the market. Oh, wait. Somebody listed a VV logo. At 4,000. Wow, there's a deal for you guys right there. Someone listed a VV logo at 4,000 if you're interested. Okay, and then we got the rare right here. Still at 195. So there you go. 
So no movement on that. I am going to watch the ultra rare today like a hawk. And if it starts to drop down below, that, that'll be my buy-in opportunity. And if it starts to go up, I'll have to keep my eyes on it too. Oh, by the way, how many people got the pride uh, airdrop today? Did you guys, how many people did the pride drop today? 124, it's completely dumping right now. <laughs> did you guys, did you get the, uh, the, the, the airdrop today, guys? I didn't even mention that. That was at 8 a.m. today, the same time as the actual, you know, as the drop for the, the mariachi stamps. Did you guys secure the, uh, the, the airdrop? You know, like, I know you probably haven't had it delivered, but did you did you actually get the snapshot today? How many of you guys did that? That would be cool, right? You know? Duck and Cover, you were lucky on the drop today. Check two minutes after the drop and pulled three. A common, uncommon, a rare, so half the set. There you go, man. That's nice. That's nice right here. Hinanu got six stamps on the drop. Two rares, two uncommon, and two commons. You kept one and sold the rest. Took a small loss. There you go. Oh, well. But he wanted the ultra rare with the violin. There you go. That's kind of what you got to do, right? Congrats right there for sure. And you're not going to burn it, are you? No. <laughs> You'd love more drop heads, but every spare cent I have to go is to V. It's okay. You can win them. Stick in Discord because I'm giving away in Discord. I'm doing airdrops. Airdrops for the second one. Giveaways, right? So make sure you're in Discord and entering. Okay, duck and cover. I know you're in there already. But anyway, did you guys, anybody get the pride? I guess nobody went for the pride or whatever. That's okay. That's okay. We'll see what happens with that, what they give us or the people. I, I, I don't own the pride, so I wasn't, in, I wasn't in that airdrop right there. We'll see what happens with that. And then coming up too, you know, we got our next airdrop coming up. That's going to be the Bond poster. So, you know, we'll see how many people actually complete that, right? I'm going to go quickly back to the market and look at my favorite comic right here because these are the three things I'm looking at just before we go. <laughs> quiet day today quiet day today in the vv world everybody's out enjoying themselves for sure having a pumpkin spice latte or something like that it's fall right there's yeah it's still at 400 on the common right there and then the uncommon that same one at 268 is sitting there <laughs> we'll see what happens with that right anyway guys thanks for coming today it's a fun saturday i hope you guys have an awesome weekend we'll talk to you guys later for sure and uh, we'll, you know, tomorrow, good luck on the uh, Labyrinth drop. We'll see what happens. I'll be in the spaces and I'll be online. I'll probably put out a video or two with a couple things I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any questions and stuff, you know, just hit me up in the Discord or on, uh, or on Twitter. And we'll chat there for sure. Great fun hanging out with you guys. Have yourself an awesome Saturday. I will see you in the next video. And happy collecting. <laughs>